What is futagi? You've probably done a little bit of searching and nothing really matched up. So get ready to learn exactly what this is and how it can solve various problems with decision making in organizations. What if you held onto a stock that's been on a downtrend for four consecutive years? Would you be happy with it? Would you wonder why the CEO has been retained despite the company performing poorly? Would you begin to raise questions about the board of directors for choosing to keep the CEO? What more can you do besides selling the stock and moving on? This is just one part where Futagi could make a difference. So what is Futagi? Futagi is a system where markets make decisions. Most organizations use humans to make decisions, like governments use presidents and parliaments, and corporations use boards of directors and CEOs. So essentially, individuals and committees. If you look at pretty much all institutions today, they make decisions with individuals, with humans. How Futagi works. Here's an example. Ginny Rometty, who was the CEO of IBM from 2012 to 2020, happened to be considered by investors as probably one of the worst CEOs of her time. She presided over 24 quarters of consecutive revenue decline, so it would probably have been good for IBM if she were gone. However, she kept her job because the board of directors retained her. She may have been able to convince him, or perhaps not, that it was in the corporation's best interest. One thing though, it was in her best interest for her to stay. In Futagi, the idea would work a little differently. The decision-making authority is given to the markets. Here's an example. A company deciding whether or not to fire the CEO. If the company were run as a Futagi, it would create two markets. People can buy and sell a token or stock. One market is retain the CEO, and the other is fire the CEO. Let's say there's a CEO named Sarah. People that think she's doing a good job might trade stocks in the retain Sarah as CEO market. And those that don't think she's doing a good job would be trading stocks in the fire Sarah as CEO market. After say 10 days, we look at the average price of the trading stocks in both markets. If more people paid higher prices for stocks in the retain Sarah market, the company keeps Sarah as CEO. But if more people paid higher prices for stocks in the fire Sarah market, the company fires her. What's cool is that even if the company doesn't actually fire or keep the CEO, the trading still helps figure out what might happen. It's like guessing what could happen without actually making the decision ourselves. So the trading helps make decisions, not just what one person or a board thinks is best. Futaji was invented in 2007 by Robin Hansen, an economics professor from George Mason University, and has been discussed at length by people like Vitalik Buterin and Ralph Merkel. Futagi has been attempted in crypto before. In 2020, the Ethereum booster organization, Gnosis DAO, now known as Gnosis Safe, pledged to use Futagi via prediction markets to guide the group's decision making. It's unclear how successful this effort was. The group named Hansen as an advisor in 2017, but still hasn't paid him, the father of Futagi told Coindesk. Futagi is the most extreme use case for prediction markets, in which traders bet money on the verifiable outcome of an event in a specified time frame. Participants in speculative markets, think stocks and betting markets, are incentivized to do the research necessary to understand the optimal outcome to serve their interests, according to Hansen. They'll buy or sell accordingly. Here are some examples. Will Taylor Swift get engaged in 2024? Will the dupe token be above $1 24 hours after launch? How can people participate in a Futagi? Futagi has been implemented successfully by MetaDAO, a DAO governed by markets, not politics. The MetaDAO uses Futagi to make its decisions. How does it work? Anyone can create a proposal on the MetaDAO's application, which is built on the Solana blockchain. Here's an example of a proposal. A holder of the token creates a proposal saying, invest $50,000 from the DAO's treasury in improving Meta's DAO UI UX application. There are two markets here, the pass market and the fail market. People can either trade on the pass market or fail market, but for them to do so, they would need either USDC or the Meta token. If the average price, known as TWAP, time-weighted average price, of the pass market is 5% more than the fail market after a predefined time period of five days, then the proposal passes and the DAO should invest $50,000 on improving their UI UX. If the TWAP of the fail market is 5% more than the pass market after five days, then the $50,000 is kept in the DAO's treasury. Why is Futagi possibly better than other forms of governance? Everyone wins together. Both policymakers and voters benefit from making decisions that maximize future well-being, as reflected in the prediction market prices. This can reduce short-terminism and special interest influence. Collective wisdom. Prediction markets aggregate information from a diverse pool of participants, 
potentially leading to more informed decisions than traditional voting systems. Reduces corruption and lobbying. Decisions are based on predictions of future outcomes, not on personal gain or political pressure, potentially making the system less susceptible to corruption. Quick on the draw. Prediction markets can quickly reflect new information and adjust policy direction as needed. Here are some more benefits of Futagi. Compared to the other ways of making decisions, markets have a number of benefits. To understand these, we can look at both the theory and the empirical evidence. Imagine you're at a big event where people are betting on who's going to win a competition, like a presidential election. Now let's say most people think one candidate, let's call him Patrick, has a 50% chance of winning. But you find out you can buy a Patrick wins betting ticket for only 32 cents on the dollar, which means you could win a lot of money if he actually wins. So you probably want to buy a bunch of those tickets, right? That's because you'd make a profit if Patrick wins. On the other hand, if those same tickets are selling for 65 cents on the dollar, which is more than they should be worth based on his chances, you might want to sell them. That's because you could make a profit by selling them now and buying them back later if the price drops. Basically, in a market like this, when the price of something doesn't match what it's really worth, people are encouraged to buy or sell until the price gets closer to its true value. And because everyone's trying to make money, it's hard for any one person even someone with a lot of money, to change the price too much. If they try to manipulate the market, other people will step in to take advantage of the situation and make a profit. Another great thing about markets is that they can reward people who are good at predicting things. So if you're really good at guessing who's going to win competitions by putting in the research or what's going to happen in the future, you can make more money over time. And when you make more money, you can invest even more, which gives you even more power in the market. And then you're more invested and more keen on the success of that organization. It's a game where the best players get more chances to win. This system also sidesteps voters' apathy, where people don't vote. In crypto, there are a lot of governance tokens, but many people don't vote, because there can be little point. Large whales can accumulate more tokens and just vote for their plan. As an example, in 2021, Uniswap DAO allocated 20 million of its uni tokens to a Harvard Law Group. They sold half in days for USDC, when the agreement was selling over years. So Futagi definitely has a future to make DAOs work better as a first step, but from their companies, then local governments, then even federal governments. But for now, let's understand it and sort it out on the DAO level. What do you think? Are you ready for a more fair future?